don't know if you can hear that, but I was tuning the bands. Oh, by the way, this is Tom, in case you forgot. I was tuning the band a few minutes ago, and I happened upon this signal, which sounded like WWV. And I'm like, is my radio really screwed up? I'm at 14.670. That's not 15. And I was originally, a few minutes ago, at 15 megahertz where uh, WWV normally is. And I was like, why is this, what is this doing here? So I'm like, let me look up this frequency on the internet. It's definitely a time frequency. So let me see if I can move the camera around here and show you my computer. And it's kind of hard to do this because if I sh show the page I want to show, I can't see what the camera's seeing, so I don't know if it's seeing anything. So let me go back here. Oh gosh, that's not right. Oh, come on. Oh, boy. There we go. Zoom, zoom. Now i got to zoom out. Boy, do I need a cameraman. Ooh. Biggest failure here on my channel is a cameraman. Okay, we're trying to... No, oh, too close. Jeez. Let me turn this light off. It's reflection off the screen. Oh, I'm probably never going to be able to show it to you. Okay. It's okay. So, <laughs> it's, like I say, if I move this out of the way, then I don't know what the camera is pointing at. Okay, let's just move it out of the way. Okay. I'm at, I ended up at a6b.com, which has loads of information for shortwave listing. And one of the pages he has is time and frequency station listing. And if I come down here, look at all these time and frequency stations, even down on Longwave. And as I had mentioned before, these stations are good to find out whether conditions are good for shortwave listing because they're always there. Well, they're always transmitting. You may not receive them, but they're always transmitting. So if conditions are good for a particular area, you'll be able to hear these. And this one, if I come down here at 14, 14, 670, there it is, Ontario, Canada. I've never heard this station. Of course, I've never tried to hear it. This is booming in. Well, actually, it's not booming in right this minute. And as usual, it took me 15, 20 minutes to get everything set up, and now it's not as good as it was. But 15, 20 minutes ago, it was booming in loud and clear. And I thought it was um, the one at 15 megahertz, which is at, gosh, there's a whole bunch of them at 15 megahertz at Fort Collins. So anyway, um, this website, again, this is ac6vwcom slash standard.html. So it's frequency standard page. Like I say, he has a lot of pages and a lot of information. Check this out. Um, there is a ton of, and some of them may be off the air nowadays, but there's a ton of them out there. These frequency stations will give you that clock tick, and then on the hour, they'll give you the time and possibly where the station is. And you can use this to determine if conditions are good for shortly listing, if your radio is working, if your antenna is working. It's just a nice little tool for us shortwave listers. So that's the show. Thanks for watching. I don't know if this showed up very well on my camera, but anyway, I tried. Bye-bye. Uh, let me see. How have I stopped this? I got to bring out how I stopped this. Okay, here we go.